Hey everybody, Paul the Trombonist here. Real excited about this video. We're gonna take the exact same song, listen to it unmixed, and see what happens to it when you have the industry's best mix and mastering engineers do their job. So we're gonna listen to the song raw, then we're gonna listen to what it sounds like mixed, and then we're gonna listen to what it sounds like mastered. And we're gonna talk a little bit about the different three, and we're gonna compare all three at the end, going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So you're not gonna to wanna to go anywhere. Let's get started. Okay, so here is the unmixed version of the song. And I may do a little needle dropping where I'm just going from one place to another place just so we can get an idea and get through this pretty quickly so you can get a good understanding. dry, everything's right in the middle. Now we're gonna listen to what it sounds like mix. So we gotta talk a little bit, like what does a mix do to the song? Well, just like a good food recipe, it takes all the ingredients and mixes them together in the best way possible to provide the best taste for the ear. So we got all these different tracks and then the mix engineer is gonna take those and put them all together in their own little recipe. And this particular track was mixed by Ryan Gilligan, who's amazing. He's engineered for Kanye West and CeeLo Green. So he's one of the world's class, one of my favorite mix engineers. So we're gonna listen to what he does to the track and we're gonna talk a little bit about it. What does the mix do? It adds depth. Uh, it puts the music in a sonic space. And it kind of prioritizes what's important in in the track in the song and kind of highlights the important er areas kind of like what an ensemble would do organically how they bring out certain parts and and uh, put other parts as background figures a mix engineer will do that is part of their job so let's listen to what this track sounds like mixed Okay, so already I can tell that it is in some kind of space. He put it in some kind of space, so it feels like we're in some kind of environment. And it adds like a, like a stereoscopic image that you're inside a space. that he added certain types of effects to the drums. He manipulated the drum sounds a little bit and it's, it's starting to pop now. It's really starting to pop. Let's keep listening. a mix engineer does is no 
Now all the steps are really important, but I really feel that having a really great mix engineer is one of the most important things you can do to your album because they can really, really turn it into something amazing. They learn their craft just as well as say like an instrumentalist would learn how to play like the trombone for example. As much time as I've spent on the trombone, a great mix engineer spends that time on their instrument and their instrument is to craft their own recipe of the sound. So it's actually a really phenomenal skill. Now what the mix engineer does is the mix engineer takes all the tracks, mixes them together in one track and they take that one track and then they give it to the mastering engineer. And then the mastering engineer is only dealing with one track. They're just dealing with one track. We're gonna go now to the mastering. Now this was mastered by Tom Coyne who actually won album of the year this year with Adele, he mastered her album. He won last year with Taylor Swift and her 1989 album and he uh, won with Adele 21 and he's been nominated other times and did Bruno Mars' Uptown Funk and his last album and all this stuff. So this guy's phenomenal, probably one of the world's greatest mastering engineers for sure. And now let's hear what he does. Now, what does a mastering engineer do to this song? Well, it's the last step of the audio production and it adds the polish. For you film buffs there that are, are into film, you know like color correction? How it's like the last thing, you add the color correction, all of a sudden the film, like you edited your movie and the film's like, yeah. That's kind of like what the, the mastering engineer will do. It adds a little polish at the end. It adjusts the sound for the best quality and balance uh, where it will sound good on many different playback devices like an iPhone, a computer, a stereo, a car speaker, the radio, the TV. It's gonna sound good on as many different playback devices as possible. It kind of unifies the album and it makes it have this sonic signature um, say if you record it in a different studio on this track, a different studio in this track, and then it gives like a sonic unity of the album with each other. Or if you had a different engineer on this one, different engineer kind of can put it and make it all sound like a one project. Uh, it, it makes all of the tracks uh, even volume, so you're not like having to turn it up when another song gets real quiet or another song's really loud, you don't have to turn it down. It's kind of, you can just listen to the album from beginning to end. It can be played louder on stereo systems so it doesn't distort. You know, sometimes when you record your own music, you try to turn it up and it you're, it's distorts on the radio or the playback. It, it kind of uh, eliminates that when you master and then you can just turn it up and crank it and bump it. So now let's listen to what the mastered version of it. already I can tell it's just pumped he just pumped it with life it just goes and all of a sudden it starts to sound like a record from unmixed to mixed to mastered so you can hear them like right back to back. Take a look at the different sound waves. When we A and B them, um, when, just look, because they're labeled. It's gonna say unmixed, it's gonna say mixed, and it's gonna say mastered. And take a look at how the sound waves vary during each process.
I want to thank you so much for watching this video and watching all my other videos too. I mean, you guys are the best. You keep coming back. And for those that are, are new, I want to thank you as well. Really, just really appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed, hit subscribe. I put up all these videos like this all the time, different kinds of videos, music related stuff, you know. And this track you're hearing right now, this came from my debut album, Journey to the World. This song's called Hey My Love, and uh, it is out everywhere right now. And I can't thank you enough because we actually charted, it actually charted on the Amazon bestseller um, in the top 100. Actually, it was the 26th best-selling jazz album and the 34th best-selling electronic album. So there'll be a link for that as well in the description. And I want to thank all the patrons too for helping support. I mean, thank you so much. You are really the best. It's Paul the Trombonist here signing off and you take care. Bye.